All right, so this is the second part of the video. And there's, there's a bit of an audio issue in, in some segments of the second part. Uh, and so you'll be able to understand what's going on. It's just that my microphone was rubbing against uh, my uh, cat who happened to be very hungry, and which is why there's some audio distortion. But other than that, uh, there's, there's, uh, the, the video is fine. Um, also, if you guys like the video, like and subscribe. And let's jump right into the second part. So the next step in using chat OpenAI to do local SEO is to create a 60 word blog post introduction. So mainly we're just creating the introduction, not the entire blog post. So again, be mindful of that. So what I've done here is I said, create an existing intriguing 60 word blog article and article introduction based on information provided and some information is supposed to entice the user to read more. So this is just 60 words and the article itself will be based on the 60 word it generates but it's not going to be machine generated because as i said in my earlier video which you can watch i've not had a i've not had a good time using uh open ai uh write stuff because google has been penalizing these these articles um and i've had a problem many of my articles were de-indexed so as you can see are you tired of living in a dirty and cluttered space? Look further, no further. ABC Cleaning Company in Corning, New York offers low price cleaning services to help you keep your business spotless. So it remembered that I'm doing a CEO for uh, a business, a cleaning business in Corning, New okay, York. So the next one is probably going to be a little more controversial um, because now I'm going to ask ChatGPT to come up with uh, local content ideas. And usually I don't choose all of these ideas, but it, it's really a good starting point for a brainstorming session. So what I've done here is I'll say, uh, create a list of local content ideas for a cleaning business. I'll go ahead and enter this over here. And it gives me all of these ideas. These are topic ideas. And what I usually do is I, you know, short list of ones I like, and then I rewrite the titles to make them a little more attractive. And then my writer uh, goes in and fills in uh, the article or writes the article more importantly and it's uh it's it shortens again it shortens the time it takes to research and come up with titles and stuff like that um so a lot of these can be very good title uh, title tags um, for the pages or a good h1s depending on you know how i like these so again this will need to be read through um before you choose uh you know before you shortlist what you think will work for you like for instance a guide to cleaning and maintaining different types of flooring i think this is a very good title um, but it, this can be spiced up a little bit made, made, made a little more attractive so that people will click on it um, another good one is the impact of a clean environment on productivity and mental well-being obviously this is something that also can be spiced up a little bit but this is a good topic idea so you can see where i'm going with this um, and you can just shortlist the ones that you think will work best for your uh, blog. Um, let's say you have no idea what, you know, the local keywords you want to target um, and you don't have access to a local keyword tool. Uh, you can use ChatGPT to find those keywords. I made a previous video on using ChatGPT for keyword research, but this is more about doing local keyword research. So what I've done here is give me a list of potential service pages potential service pages for a, uh, let's say, for a cleaning company could create. Okay, so this is potential service pages a cleaning company could create. So this gives me kind of a list of service pages uh, for a cleaning company. Now, usually a client gives me this, but if there's a service page that this is, that ChatGPT recommends that my client does not have, I'll take it to my client and I'll say, okay, you don't offer, for instance, window cleaning services or you don't offer pressure washing services on the website. If you do offer these services, we can create the page for you. Um, and you know, in, in most cases, by adding these pages, you're actually creating topical authority uh, for that service and that niche. Um, and so I always like to look at, you know, what my, to take the ones that are not that my client does not have on their website and take this to my client and say, all right, so your website does not have 
these local service pages. I would recommend that you have these pages if you offer the service. Obviously, if, if they don't offer the service, I don't want to have these pages on there. Um, and so the ones, usually they offer the service and they don't have a page for it. So, you know, just adding that itself, you know, helps you rank uh, for a lot of local keywords if the content is done correctly. So the next step is you want to have a, get a list of um, directories, perhaps, of where you can get, you can list a local business. Uh, usually you'd have to Google it, but even Google does not do very well with local directories. So what I've done here is I'll ask ChatGPT to do this for me. Just give me a list and then I'll Google and I'll find those relevant websites. So give me a list of relevant New York based online business directories for a New York City based plumbing company. So um, so right out of the bat is giving me a list of all the local uh, directory pages that I can go and I can create a listing for my clients, uh, for my client, and then have a um, backlink, do follow or a no following depending on the service, and go back to my client uh, client's uh, website. And in most cases, it's uh, you know I would I would generally do a little more research. But, you know, th th this is a good starting point. So, you also say note that some of the directories may be more relevant than others, depending on the size and target market of the, of the plumbing company. Why does it say plumbing company? All right, let's, uh, let's do something else. The mistake I made earlier is I put in plumbing company when this should be a cleaning company. I'll just go ahead and fix this real quick because this could change the output of the directories that this recommends because I'm recommending this for, um, you know, is more company specific. A lot of this is general for instance, the Better Business Bureau, Yelp is all general. Um, but then I think ones like um, Yellowbot, not sure about Brownbrook, um, Credibility review. This is a new one. I've not heard of this for a while. Uh, you've got local database. You've got topics local. So a lot of these directories, I think, are, are pretty a uh, good starting point. And once you have this, I think a lot of this is also. Let's see. Yeah. So it pretty much gave me the same list. Um, but it's always good to make sure that you're using the right. I think show local, show me local over here. Um, so I've got show me local over here. So pretty much the same list. So um, okay. So the next one is I want to find. So you might a lot many people who do um, local SEO target near me search terms. So um, barber near me or you know uh, best uh, butcher near me or you know the near me search term for local searches. Um, the problem with that is that Google is going after pages that are optimized for the near me search term. And so you need to find um, industry relevant equivalents to near me, but which is not near me. So more like synonyms for near me. So what I put here is generate a list of popular cleaning, cleaning related search terms that include the, include synonyms of near me, of near, sorry. So when I used near me, I didn't really get the results that I wanted. So I just shortened it to near and that improved things. So it says cleaning services near me, local cleaning companies, professional cleaners nearby, house cleaning my location um, nearby, uh, carpet cleaning services, residential cleaning near me, commercial cleaning near my office. So these, so what I'll do is I'll take all of these generally, if I'm doing local SEO, I'll take all of these and I'll paste it into my keyword research tool. Uh, in my case, the easiest one to, to do this with is, is Surfer SEO. So Surfer SEO has a keyword research tool that also clusters keywords. So once I enter the, these into, um, once I enter these into Surfer SEO, not only does it you know, tell me what the search volume is and, you know, if it's worth targeting, but also give me related keywords and cluster them. So cleaning service near me and then a cluster of keywords that are around cleaning services near me. So then when I, when I write for cleaning services near me, I could use those cluster keywords 
within the article and that improves my chances of ranking the article without a significant number of backlinks. All right, so the next thing, what I'm gonna do is now that I have all these keywords, I have all these descriptions, I wanna, I wanna create a navigational structure for the website. This will work if it's a new website, but also if, it, if, if it's an existing website, you might, and you're, you're just starting to do SEO for it, you might wanna make sure that the structure is good. Um, so what I'll, what you can do is you can ask ChatGPT to give you an opinion or you know more like what it thinks will work. So uh, what I'll type here is what's a great website navigation structure for a cleaning company, rental company. All right, so for a cleaning company. So let's see, so usually this does not work. Uh, sometimes it does work, but when it works, it works very well. Home, so this will be the landing page. It'll be an about us page. Um, it also tells me what should be in the about us page. So my writer, if I can just give this to my writer, um, services, so, you know, residential cleaning. So I'm, I'm gonna take all the services that were, that were recommended to me earlier uh, by ChatGPT, and I'm gonna ask my client if all of these services are relevant. Um, the gallery page, yes, that's a good page. Maybe my client does not have one, could use one. An FAQs page, a contact us page, a blog section, um, service area. So these are all where the, the, all those service area links or data that we created would, would come in handy. There's also a pricing page, there's testimonials, um, promotions, login, privacy policy, terms of service. And yeah, then it gives me a few tips on how to keep it nice and simple. So this is pretty much it. So this is a pretty standard um, service page. Um, pretty standard local service cleaning company. And what ChatGPT is doing, I, I assume, is it's, it's crawling or it has crawled uh, websites uh, in the cleaning industry. And it's, it's, it's pulling this data up from there. For, so the most common ones are all of these. And so this is why it's suggesting that I have this structure on the website. Okay, so the final part is once you've done the local SEO, and this is all you need to do local SEO up using ChatGPT. Obviously, there are most steps. Um, the final step, you want to get ideas like you know how to get people to your cleaning company website, and you're going to do maybe a series of press releases. So what do you think the press releases should be about? Um, you know, so usually, if you're going to do an effective press release, it has to offer something of value. So maybe ask ChatGPT what people are valuing uh, with the cleaning service. So what I'm going to do is here is what are special ideas for a local cleaning? So it's giving me a list of special that it thinks are most relevant. Um, so first time customer discount, relevant referral program, uh, spring cleaning special, seasonal packages, uh, move-in well specials, um, packaging deals, holiday specials, eco-friendly, whatever. So this right off the bat is very handy. So I can just make a list. I can, you know, you improve the list, remove ones that are redundant. And I can just do, a, you know, a PR a week for, uh, you know, just, just, with, just with these specials or a PR a month, depending on what my client agrees to. Uh, so, and you know, just just get a lot of traffic and a lot of eyeballs on my on my uh, client's website, and all it took is a few seconds. So usually, this will take me an hour of research, but you know, this just took a few seconds, and I can just create you know titles for my PRs, and I'm done. So this is pretty much how you can use OpenAI to do local SEO. And as I said, there are more steps to this, but this is a great place to start uh, with your local SEO. This automate a lot of the processes and this will slash the amount of time it takes to do local SEO, especially if you're a business person who is doing it for themselves. Um, this will cut a lot of the time involved with it. So there you have it, folks. Um, that wraps up my local SEO tutorial using ChatGPT. But obviously, as I mentioned in the video, there is some more work that needs to be done, um, which uh, I don't trust ChatGPT to do as well, which means actually creating the content and then building internal links, which is something um, that needs to be done manually and you need to know how to do it correctly. Because after the latest series of updates by Google, if your internal links are not good, 
and you have not built authority for your website uh, using LinkedIn as I've talked about in a previous video which you can check out here um, then you're gonna run into trouble I would strongly advise that you uh, watch those videos um, also watch my video on the latest update so that you know how to update proof your website um, moving forward and as always I hope you learned something like and subscribe I'll see you guys in the next video